How's my hair? Does it look nice? All right, that's all that matters. Am I right? My hair looks nice. My room looks mostly picked up. I'm still working on it, but my room has been a total frick fracking mess since I have started doing anything with the, the, the furry stuff in this thing right here that I'm not picking up. So, you want to be a YouTuber. That's adorable. Let me explain why that's nearly impossible unless you have this thing called money that primarily does exist, but to you, unless you're making constant money off of YouTube already, you're not gonna get anywhere. And I hate to burst your bubble, but that's just how this game works. And I know it's really pathetic and it's really mean to hear that. But let me tell you a couple things you're gonna need if you wanna be a successful YouTuber. Uh, for one, this thing that's uh, being held up by my chin and my, uh, my face, uh, this thing is like $20. You need a good one, not some cheapo one, not something that is garbage, okay? My hair is now official because of the quarantine and stuff. I haven't been able to get a haircut, so, oh my God, my nose. My hair is annoying the living crap out of me, and there's not much I can do about that. So, the, the first thing you need to understand about doing anything YouTube wise is that for one you're always gonna be fixing your hair if you're on camera you have to get some gel you have to get something and make sure that fake fur isn't constantly going in your mouth but let's talk about this for a minute okay let's talk about why you want to be a youtuber why do you want to get into this do you have money for lamps I have again let me show you something one Two. Do you know how expensive these things are? These are $130 a piece. The next thing, let's say, for instance, you uh, you want to get into arts and crafts, you want to uh, do things like, um, for example, this. If you haven't watched anything on my YouTube channel, go check out this shenanigans. It's still being worked out. Over there in the corner, that black stuff, if you can see it properly. Can you see it? Can you see it? Can you see it? Over there? Yeah, that that I'm zooming in on, that black stuff, that's the fur that I picked up. Now, I'm not saying that uh, being a YouTuber is impossible, but what I will tell you right now that unless you're willing to spend $30 on about 50 feet of a microphone that I'm, you see this mic? This is about a $50 mic. Throughout my entire YouTube career, I would say I've probably, and I'm using the term career lightly, uh, I would definitely say that throughout my life, I can uh, say that I've probably spent more money on the crap that I need in my bedroom than anything else because uh, realistically, let me show you, that, that camera panning is too fast, shut up. Uh, the, what you see, what that's on, that's actually a very high-end computer that was custom built for me, if I can pull it off, that, that's very bright LED, so I need to keep something over it. And in the back, you can't see it, but uh, This is how I record all of my games. Let's go open up Elgato. Where are you at? Where's my controller? You know how much this graphics card is? Uh, well, not graphics card, but the Elgato card. That is a, um, how much is that? I'm trying to remember. It's like almost $200. Hey Google, how much is a PCI Elgato card? On the website Amazon.com, they say $349.98 ships from and sold by Rurock International. Exactly. It's about that damn expensive. And you're wanting to get into this kind of stuff. You're thinking to yourself, oh, I could do it. I've got about $1,000 I can spend. If you want to get in the camera you're seeing is just my craptastic, uh, what even is this thing again? It's the Panasonic Full HD HCV770 Wi-Fi. The next camera I'm getting is going to be a 4K camera because I have bigger plans for everything and this thing is okay, but honestly, let's, let's be realistic here. I have zero reason to use this camera anymore because there's a lot of features that it lacks and the battery is like an hour long, an hour. I think this battery lasts maybe two hours. But that being said, you want to be a YouTuber. You want to go from, you know, being that cool guy who just makes decent, okay videos and all this stuff. I'm going to tell you a couple things that you need to know right off the bat. No, this is not clickbait and this is realistic. And I want you to understand what you're getting yourself into. 
The first thing you need to know about being a YouTuber, especially, is that I've been doing YouTube since I was 16 years old, so about 12 years. Long enough to raise a child, have a stable job, let's see, uh, be married, let's see, what else? Buy a house, pay it off. Buy a car, pay it off. Go to jail for a couple years, pay off traffic tickets, pay off all that kind of stuff. I had enough time to do all of that stuff. I have a couple tickets, but that's for speeding mostly and one asshole cop that wanted to pull me over and give me a ticket that made no zero, that made zero sense, but whatever. So let me explain a lot about this career that you want to get into. If you want to do this, you need to be dedicated. You need to post in forums. You need to post in Discord servers. You need to go to Skype groups. You need to go on Reddit and 4chan and Facebook groups. You need to go on Twitter. You need to hashtag. You got to constantly do this. Why do you think all the major channels like PewDiePie, Markiplier, um, Shane Dawson, Game Grumps, Linus Tech Tips, they've got separate departments for literally everything I just said that has to do with this. You need people to go buy lighting. You need people to set this stuff up. You need people to make sure the wiring on certain things is working properly. You need people who are in the background doing the ghost stuff that you never see, which makes a lot of sense. But you gotta remember the number one thing about being a YouTuber is consistency. Whether or not you wanna believe this, but being on YouTube, for as long as I have, I could be at 1,200 uh, or a million subscribers right now if it wasn't for Google YouTube merge because I had an account called The Dumb Show a very long time ago and I screwed it up by having something on my Google account that I'm not going to share with this because this entire video is sort of meant to be PG-13 at best. Let's keep it like that, okay? Figured out what I'm talking about, good for you. Let's move on. Now, I'm well aware that I could screen record right now, but I wanted to specifically show you from my point of view, from the uh, camera angle of right here, what I'm looking at. So, although you probably don't know the first thing about editing, you need to know about editing. You need to edit, you need to get little things, you need to learn everything you're looking at right now. Now, granted, you're not gonna learn this program. I just literally learned a new trick in the last year uh, and actually in the last two days I just figured out a new cool little trick where I can highlight all of this go to the sound and reduce the gain I just learned about that I didn't know I could just reduce it all across because this whole time I've been going across this and leveling them out separately I didn't know I could just do it with the gain and bring it down if I had known that I would have done it sooner that's the kind of things that you learn over time and you don't realize what you're getting wrong what you're getting right what you never know what you're gonna need. You're gonna be doing that. Let's say for instance now, you wanna do music, okay. Music is just as hard. I just realized that my stand is not corrupt, is not right. I'm, I'm filming like this on purpose by the way, obviously, because I want you to get a feel of the cheapness of this, of what it's like to go through the kind of crap constantly. So let me explain something. Software is expensive. Do you know how much FL Studio is? Hey Google. How much is FL Studio? Here is some information from the web that might possibly help. Here's a summary from the website g2.com. Get on a plan for $299 the first year and renew for $99 per year. That's not right. Hold on. Wow, FL Studio came in out in 1997. That's pretty cool. So, to buy FL Studio, let's see. If you wanted to get FL Studio and all the plug-in bundles, that's a $900 investment. Are you really gonna go through this? I could get all that and I would know what I'm doing. For people who are like, I can do music, I know how music works, but you've never done a single thing. No, you don't. You're gonna use this program once and you're gonna be like, why did I get into this? You're not gonna like it, you're gonna hate it. I could buy probably up to this one right now. That's how much money I have currently have, which is $200, but. Now, let's talk about Camtasia. I bought Camtasia with uh, add a year of maintenance for $500 for $50 my bad I bought this about a year ago and actually what happens is, is you can get it's a one-time fee for $250 yeah I bought that because I I'm gonna be honest I did pirate it and when I pirated it I was so sick of constantly having to upgrade it and going to find the next crack and I was like screw this I've got the money now let's just buy a copy of it and let's just get done with it I've had trouble with it since then, not, not major trouble, just things that like, I need to reinstall it and I was able to call upon a tech support guy and they were like, all right, let's make this happen. 
So this is a $250 program, and unless you're willing to go the illegal route, don't expect this to be easy. And I'm gonna be honest, things like this takes time to learn. Even Sony Vegas or Adobe or uh, any anything else out there, uh, what's one of them? DaVinci's a free one if you wanna check that out. But I'm gonna tell you right now, using this is not easy. So you gotta learn this. You gotta get the you gotta get the film, you gotta get the editing, you gotta get all that stuff down. Now, let me show you something. See up underneath my desk where that Arcanine is sitting? Yeah, you see that with the Skull Candy logo on it? Can you see it? Not very well, but good enough. Up underneath is a four terabyte hard drive that you can barely see. Yeah, that's where a lot of my data sits. But inside down here, I have a four terabyte as well inside my computer where all my main data sits for all of my games, where all of my raw footage and anything else like that. That's a crappy little server I joined. Eh, they're okay. It's a friendly server. That being said, you wanna learn all this, I get it. It's cool, it's understandable. But how much of this are you willing to get into? Let's talk about something else you wanna set up. So let me point out right here, as you see, that, 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 all of this, all of that, blah, 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 blah. You know, you're seeing that right there and you're thinking to yourself, oh, I can get all that, that's super cheap. Maybe so, but how much are you willing to spend on all of this? You know how many games I have? And just by itself, do you know how many games I actually have that I specifically bought just so I could like, you know, do it for YouTube and whatnot? I've bought a lot on, actually. I've got like 40, 50 games on my Switch alone just because I thought I'm gonna do it for YouTube. Now, am I trying to discourage you from being a YouTuber? Absolutely not. But there's a few couple things that you need to know about before you start YouTube how much money you're gonna be spending, what you're gonna be spending it on, and so on and so forth. Now, one more thing, one more rule of YouTube that I definitely feel needs to be talked about, and that is YouTube etiquette. Now, these are unwritten rules, but you should follow them regardless. The first rule is very obvious, which is don't spam your link everywhere. Nobody cares about, hi, my name's Logan the Gamer. Come see my channel. Nobody wants to hear that. The second thing is, is if you're gonna go to somebody's random YouTube channel and you want them to check out your content because they make similar content, that's cool. Do not demand someone to look at your channel. When you demand somebody to look at your channel, that's a fast track of being, don't go to that guy, he's a dick. Don't be that gamer. Don't be that uh, YouTuber that only thinks about himself. Next, the third, op the third thing in this, if anything, if you wanna collab, you need to be on the same schedule as that other person, which is why unless you're making a career out of this and unless you're paying somebody and you have a contract with them, nine times out of 10, they're gonna get out of there real quick. That's why, uh, that's why you see like very few collaboration channels or channels that involve a lot of people in the starting of it. Let me tell you a little thing. Multiple times since I do music, you know how many times people have loved my music and they've kind of me saying, we're making a game, me and these other five people are getting together to make a game. We were wondering if you wanted to do the music. And I said, sure, let me see what you're working on. Let me hear, let me see what it looks like and get a feel of what you need. And then I'll tell you my prices. Said, okay, two weeks later, I didn't hear anything from him. And they told me, I said, hey, whatever happened to that idea? He, and the guy would come back to me and say, oh, well, it all fell through. And I said, why? He said, oh, well, everybody wasn't on board. We had different ideas, so on and so forth. And I said, oh, that's a bummer. I've had that about 10 different times in my life. So unless everybody is on board wanting to do the same thing, yeah, that's, that's pretty much the direction you're gonna go. Which is why it's easier to do this alone than have people do my editing, than have people do my lighting, than have people uh, go out of their way to go pick up the fur and get all the crap stuff that I need. So it's a lot easier to do this on my own than to have other people do it. Now, if you have reliable sources and people who will constantly do things for you, more power to you. I'm not saying you shouldn't. I'm just saying that the likelihood, you see where I'm going with that? The next thing you need to remember, always consistency. If you plan on releasing a video today and then you say, I'll release another one on Wednesday, or you say, I'm gonna do one on Mondays and Fridays, or you say, I'm gonna do one uh, once a week, once a month, there are some people who only upload every once in a while, like John Tron, for instance, who went about, what was it, almost a year without an upload? Holy crap. Uh, let's see, what else? 
There's one guy on YouTube who only uploads 12 videos a year where he really digs into it and he does an entire video for a month and he edits it, he adds to it, he edits it. There are people like that. I've been doing that with the, with the sewing and learning this. I've done that with video games where I'll be playing it for so long and I'll record so much footage and I'll chop it up and sitting like this is actually killing my ass. So, why do you want to be a YouTuber? That's what you need to ask yourself. Are you doing this because you want to do this? Or are you doing this because you're like, I want to be popular with the girls, with the guys. You know what I mean. You're, if you're doing this for the popularity contest, stop. Right off the bat, you need to think to yourself, in about five years, if you look back at this video and you go, this is cringy, you should look at it for two different reasons. To learn from your mistakes, and to learn why the hell did you do it in the first place. Yeah, I've looked at my content and go, oh my God, that is cringy, delete. But then I look at the views and I realize people liked me then, or whatever I did. I have, on my main terabyte channel, I've got some videos that are well into the 100,000s, only because it was something ridiculous and I had fun with it. I guess the last thing I can definitely tell you as a YouTuber, whatever you're making, make something you would watch. Make something you would enjoy. Because if you don't, you're not going to enjoy the content. People aren't going to enjoy what you enjoy. As one of my, as my favorite uh, artist of all time, Dead Mouse, has said, don't make music for people. Make music for yourself. See what I'm saying? Because if you're trying to entertain others, you're never going to win. If you don't laugh at your own jokes, if you can't laugh at the comedy that you enjoy, and somebody is telling a story, and they're telling it to make you laugh, and they don't laugh during the story, it's not really that funny. They're trying to get a laugh out of you. If you find something funny, you personally, chances are somebody else is going to find it just as funny on your level too. Some of my favorite jokes are really dark and really fucked up. And some of them are really innocent and really cute. I can't think of any right now because it's whatever time it is. Hey Google, time. It's 1.32 a.m. Actually, that's not that late. Why am I tired? That's weird. My point is, unless you have the dedication, you have the strength to stay up for hours on end to edit, unless you've got key knowledge base on something in general, or you just wanna have fun and you enjoy it, don't do this because YouTube is a pit. And I'm gonna be straightforward with you. This is the last bit of this. I'm gonna be honest with you. I've been on YouTube for 12 years. I have seen so many people make a YouTube channel and stop. I've seen people make content and not be on their channel for almost 10 years. I have watched people make great content. I've watched people go from being an amazing artist to the shittiest artist possible. Percival? Bleh. A good example is, I hate to use him, Onision. When I was a teenager, I watched Onision and Shane Dawson religiously. I watched all their videos. I loved it. In the last five, six years, I have watched Onision go from being this amazing guy to just being a complete shithead, this complete asshole. This guy who acts like he's the best thing in the world. Do you know who likes him? Edgy teenagers. That is what they like. And you know what? The same can be said for a lot of the content I like, a lot of the content I've made. But that being said, whether or not you want to be professional, whether or not you want to be childish, don't do anything you wouldn't want to watch. That's how you need to look at it. And above all else, rule zero, treat everybody like you want to be treated. If you don't want to hear hateful things, don't say hateful things. If you can't take the heat, don't dish the heat. That is why if you dished heat at me right now, I'm not going to cry. I'm not going to break down. I'm going to be like, I'm going to take it uh, the way that you said it because I know what you mean by it because you're not trying to be an asshole or a bitch to me. Instead, what you're saying to me is, I'm not a big fan of your media and the way that your outlook is on this media. Instead, I'll go, okay, what are your suggestions? What do you think? I like taking people's advice. I like uh, seeing what direction other people want to see this media. I'm one of those people who will go, okay, as long as you have, and I mean, there is a difference be between uh, being a dick and giving criticism. And some people will say, oh no, uh, some people can't take criticism, even when I'm harsh. Tell me the last thing you said to somebody and how you worded it because there is a difference. I can tell you, I can't tell you how many times I have read something somebody has sent me because I, I consider myself a writer to an extent, but you know, I've never finished my damn book, which is sitting in that cabinet over there. And he read my book and he loved it. 
it's not even finished, but he read like the first 10 chapters. It's about 40 chapters in. This kid comes along and he wrote up this Marvel and Bleach, Full Metal Alchemist. I got a notification. Um, let me see, Marvel, Bleach, Full Metal Alchemist. Um, I think that was actually it. It was just a bunch of anime mixed in, and it was a bunch of the characters from uh, all the animes and the shows and the comics. And there was no punctuation. There was no uh, anything in it. And it was garbage. I couldn't understand what was going on. I couldn't understand where anything led. And I told him straight up, and I said, look, I can't understand what is going on. I don't know where anything is. And he said, oh, I had another friend tell me it was great, and it made sense. And I said, dude, there's no punctuations. There's um, there's no quotation marks. There's no spacing. It just looks like a garbled mess of words in a run-on sentence format. You have zero experience in writing this at all. How did you pass literature of all things? And that was a little harsher than it should have been, but he blocked me on Facebook afterwards because he couldn't take the fact that I looked at it and it needed serious help. I couldn't tell who was talking where. The fact of the matter is, if you can't handle this kind of thing, get out of the game now. If you can't handle people throwing garbage at you nonstop on Twitter, on Facebook, on YouTube, and people telling you to kill yourself, people uh, harassing you, people asking to suck your dick or eat your pussy or anything like that, and I mean anything sexual, you could be a 14 year old watching this right now and you could be at 16 million subscribers and I guarantee you, someone has probably sent you a sexual message, haven't they? But you're 14 million subscribers in, why the fuck are you watching my video? You're obviously doing better than me. You have. Um, so you got 13 mil thir over 13 million more subscribers than me and I have 200 subscribers on this channel but I'm telling you from personal experience from watching other youtubers this video may not even get above 10 views this video might get 30 or 40 views but I'm gonna tell you right now as a youtuber as somebody who's been doing this for a very long time don't expect anything expect literally you know what I do every time I upload a video you know what I expect I expect nothing I don't expect a goddamn thing. I upload it, I send it to my friends. My friends tell me it's good. That's what matters. I like enjoy. I, en I like to enjoy. I enjoy seeing people smile. I enjoy making myself happy. And if you're not doing this because you want to be happy with it, don't make content.